Should you choose injections of fat or injections of filler? Well, I'm gonna to get to the bottom of it in this video today. My name is Dr. Anthony Yoon, America's holistic plastic surgeon, and I help health conscious women over 30 look their best by teaching them a holistic approach to health and beauty. And today I'm gonna to cover this question that I get from so many people. Dr. Yoon, I'm thinking about fat injections and I'm thinking about injections of filler. How do I choose? Which one is better for me? So how do you choose which one to use? You may have a doctor who says, you know, I recommend for you injections of fat, whereas another doctor may recommend fillers like Restylane or Juvederm. Well, starting out, to put it very simply, fat grafting or fat transfer typically is done surgically. Often it's done in the operating room, whereas injections of filler are done in the office. So let's talk about fat transfer, their benefits and the negatives. So basically fat grafting or fat transfer is when you take fat from one part of your body and inject it into another, typically into the face, but that fats also could be injected into the buttocks or even into the breasts. The benefit of it, it's your own tissue. So you're not getting some synthetic substance or a substance from a different person or a different animal. Also, some fat is permanent. That's a huge thing, okay? If you have injections of fat, some of that fat is gonna stay long-term, five, 10 years, even more. I've been doing fat injections, fat grafting for the last 16 years in my practice, and I have people who I've done 15 years ago, and some of that fat is still there. You don't see that with injectable fillers. And another benefit of injections of your own fat is that it's soft and natural. You're not gonna get that firm lumps that you can often get with certain injectable fillers. So it's your own tissue, some of it can be permanent, and it definitely, when it heals, is typically very soft and natural. But what are the negatives of fat injections? Well, it is surgery, and not everybody wants to go into the operating room and go under the knife and undergo anesthesia. You do get scars from it, okay? Now the scars are small, they're basically scars that, uh, incisions that we create by taking the fat out and injecting it, so they're not big or anything, but they are scars. Fat grafting, the big negative is, it, it, is that it is unpredictable. So we can put fat into one person's cheek and maybe 30% of the fat stays. In another person, it may be 50 or even 60%. So the results are unpredictable, sometimes one side of the face to the other, one patient to another, and one doctor to another. And that's the big negative with fat grafting. In my practice, I do a lot of fat injections into the face. And I tell my patients that in the cheeks, we get anywhere from 30 to 50% take, 30 to 50% sticks around. Whereas in the lips, only about 10% sticks around. And so the unpredictability is a big negative of fat transfer. There's downtime. Because it's surgery, because it's an invasive procedure, you're gonna get swollen and probably look pretty funny for a little while, sometimes as long as a couple weeks. And there is a risk of cysts and lumpiness. Now this is not something I see very often, but it's definitely something that you need to be aware of if you're having this operation. Well, what about fillers? Well, fillers, they're very quick, they're in-office treatment. So for those people who want something where you walk in the office, get it done and walk out and go to work the next day, fillers are definitely the way to go. There's no downtime with it, there's no recovery with it, it's less expensive uh, for the treatment itself, and it's quite predictable. You have an injection of filler, you look in the mirror and you see what you're gonna get. It's not this waiting several weeks to see your final result type of situation with fillers as it is with fat grafting. But what are the drawbacks with fillers? Well, fillers are temporary, okay? There are some permanent fillers on the market like silicone and I don't recommend those because they typically come with permanent problems, okay? So the best fillers like Rustalane and Juvederm are temporary, which means you gotta do it again. In the long run, this can get expensive because you may have to have several treatments of fillers over five or 10 years, whereas you may only get one treatment with fat. And fillers can feel firmer than regular tissue. If you're injecting filler into the lips and if it's a thicker filler with what we call a higher G prime, then it could feel thick. It could feel when you kiss somebody that person may feel like they're kissing a spare tire, okay? So definitely the right fillers for the right tissues, and if the wrong fillers are used, it can feel quite firm and unnatural. So what are my recommendations? If you're thinking about filler, and you're thinking about fat grafting, and you're trying to figure out what to choose, well, if you're unsure or you're new to this type of a thing, 
Start off with fillers. It's easier, it's uh, not surgery, and no downtime. Just try it and see what you think. If you're looking for small changes, fillers are definitely the way to go. Because fat is a bit unpredictable, because a good portion of the fat that we inject won't stay, filler is gonna get you a much more accurate result of giving you what you're looking for. If you're looking for something that's easy, that has no downtime, then go with the filler, okay? Fat injections do have downtime, it is surgery. If you're on a strict budget, you can only spend a small amount of money, go with the fillers because surgery is always gonna be more expensive. And if you want a very precise result, if you say, look, I know exactly what I want, I want a little part of my cheek filled out just this much, don't bother with fat, fat's not accurate enough, go with the filler. Well, what about if you want a permanent result? Well, that's a good reason to go with fat, okay? So fat does have better longevity. The fat that stays does stay longer typically than Restylane and Juvederm. And the other person that really can benefit from a fat transfer or fat grafting is when they need a lot of volume. So if you've got a real thin face, if you've lost a lot of weight, let's say, and you've lost a lot of volume in your face, sometimes fat is a better option because most people have more than enough to use. Whereas if you're doing filler, you're paying per syringe and that can get quite, quite expensive. So I hope this was helpful for you. Subscribe to my channel to get more great information if you wanna look and feel your best holistically. Here are some more videos for you to check out.